Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're doing a preview of the new iOS 16.4 which is expected to come on its first beta really really soon. Now currently we're on iOS 16.3 and we don't have any release on the beta stages so we're expecting this update to come on its first beta again really soon. We're going to talk about an exact date in a few minutes here but first of all let's take a look at some new features and changes that we know are coming to this update and see what this update will be all about and of course again talk about the beta releases and the final release as well. Now first of all as I said we're talking about some new features that are expected to come to iOS 16.4 and one of them are these new emojis. So you can see right here we have a few that has been have been posted actually on Emojipedia and you can see right there we have like an emoji with like a shaking head, we have new hearts with new colors, a stop sign with a hand, we have some animals, some objects here and of course some other symbols as well. Again these have been posted on Emojipedia and these are new emoji that will come to iOS later this year and of course these are expected to come with the new iOS 16.4. A new feature we're also expecting to see on iOS 16.4 is the new Apple Pay Later feature. Now this feature has been talked about for a long time now. We have been actually expecting this feature to be out with every iOS 16 update, but it hasn't made it out yet. But according to Mark Grumman from Bloomberg, he expects this feature to come out with iOS 16.4. So basically according to him, Apple has been having like technical problems with launching this feature but according to him again this feature is expected to be released in spring via iOS 16.4 and of course that's when you can also expect this update to come out to the public but we're going to talk about an exact date here after we take a look at some other features and changes. Now here is another one of those that has actually been released once with iOS 16.2 but actually Apple pulled this feature. It is the new HomeKit architecture which actually was again removed from iOS 16 and we're expecting Apple to actually do a re-release of this feature. A lot of people have been expecting for this to be a part of the new iOS 16.3 but it looks like it's actually not ready just yet and we can also expect it to be released with the new iOS 16.4. And another feature we have been expecting for a long time now is the Apple Music Classical. Now this has been spotted since summer on the iOS code but it didn't make it out and it's still there on the iOS 16.3 code and we're expecting it to come out any day now and again this should also be part of the new iOS 16.4. Hopefully a lot of people have been waiting for this feature to make it out and it looks like it should be out with iOS 16.4. Now despite the new features and changes that we are expecting to see on this update, I would expect also some improvements, especially on iMessage, the feature that Apple has actually launched with iOS 16.2, where you can just search for images based on objects and things that are on those images that you have of course as attachments on iMessage, that actually is not working as it should. It works for some users, for me it doesn't work, I try to search, it doesn't show anything, this should work actually just like the search that you have on the photos app but it's not working for everyone i hope they will fix this and of course make it way better so you can easily find any attachments that you have on your iMessage Another part where I hope Apple will actually do some improvements with iOS 16.4 is battery life. Now I'm getting good battery life on my iPhone with iOS 16.3 but again this is a newer iPhone with a 99% health on battery here and it's actually not that bad but I'm seeing a lot of reports from a lot of users actually not having such great battery life with iOS 16.3 so I hope Apple will actually just focus on this and maybe give us a few more mi minutes maybe even a few like couple of hours of more battery life especially for the older devices. So these are some of the new features that we're expecting to see on iOS 16.4. Hopefully there will be way more and I'm expecting Apple to actually release way more new features with iOS 16.4 as iOS 16.3 as you know didn't have as many new features and changes as iOS 16.2 did. So of course alongside with that we will have a lot of also improvements, security fixes and all that stuff. But when can we expect this update to be released? Now first of all we have to get the first beta because currently we're on iOS 16.3 and there's no other releases of iOS. We don't currently have 
a beta release. So I would actually expect Apple to release a new beta for iOS 16.4. That will be beta one, of course, as soon as this upcoming week, maybe on the 31st of January, that would probably be the date when we can expect Apple to release iOS 16.4 beta one. And this update being bigger, maybe having a lot of new features and some like really big features as Apple Pay later and the new home uh, home kit architecture, we could expect this to have way more betas than iOS 16.3 did. Now I would expect actually this to have probably like at least five betas and then the RC version before we get the final public public release. So when can we expect a public release for iOS 16.4? Well, that release will be closely tied up to the Apple Spring event. As you know, every year, every spring, Apple has an event, whether that will be virtual probably, you will have that event somewhere around the end of March, as usually Apple did. I believe just in 2021, they held the, did hold the event in April. The other previous years, it was the second half of March. So this year, I would actually expect Apple to do that. And it's usually on a Monday or on a Tuesday. So I would expect the spring event this year to take place on March 20th or 21st or maybe 27th or 28th. These are the two weeks that you can expect Apple to hold the event, which again, I believe, believe is actually very closely tied to the release of iOS 16.4. Probably after the event, we will see that just being released to the public. So I would actually expect Apple to release also iOS 16.4 towards the end of the March. So during the February period and the first two weeks of March, we will have probably four or five betas and of course the RC version. And then the last two weeks of March should be the time when we get this big update released to the public. Probably will be maybe the last big update to iOS 16.4 because then in June we will have the first beta of iOS 17. So that is pretty much it for this video guys. These are the new features that are expected to come with the new iOS 16.4 and hopefully way more than that. So these are also the predictions, my predictions for the first beta and the public release of iOS 16.4 based again on historical facts and when we, what we know when Apple held their event in spring and all those rumors that we heard about this new update. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and all the information regarding the new upcoming iOS 16.4. Now, if you want to be updated with the latest iOS 16 news and all the things iOS 16.4, everything since the beta one until the public release, please make sure to subscribe and you will actually help the channel a lot as most of you guys that are actually watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So a subscription would really, really help. So again, thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you on the next one.